Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, and ever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Judy. I have some small eyes. I had a pretty heavy weekend. <laughs> okay, a little bit too much alcohol this weekend, but I had a lot of fun. Now, today, Monday morning, 13th of February, taking a look at the Bitcoin chart. How did we close the week? How did we open the week? And what do we expect for this week? So now let's quickly jump into some cool charts after I take another zip of my coffee. Hmm. Coming to you guys from Phuket. Now let's quickly jump into the first chart over Ben here. Yes, this is the chart that you used for me. This is the four hour chart. In the four hour chart, we can see the bam bam indicator. We can see um, that indeed we drop down into that volume gap over here and we are trying to um, come up again above that yellow stepping line the bam bam indicator is showing that by indicating hey watch out there is a long cone to be and then we need to close above the yellow stepping line then we need to have the blue line above the white line and we need to have a lot of greenish hills here in the bottom uh, instead of the bluish uh, sea now is this the moment to go the long yes it should be a moment that you went long over there and we can still uh, at a reconfirmation get over here but at the moment the bitcoin market is kind of struggling guys and we know that we need to um, stay above these kinds of levels i will put this one away so it's a little bit more clear our horizontal array so we know that this level over here is a very important one so could we fall back to this level to test at 21200 level uh, we could um, because we go down we pull up maybe down another bar and then we continue again um, it's a beautiful Bitcoin market uh, if you need help with trading all of this uh, then I would always use the Bitcoin uh, Bam Bam indicator because the Bam Bam indicator gives you just a handful of tools um, to estimate when to take those longs and charts guys now go to the bitcoinfamily.com over here where you will find everything and all the information about the products over there now I'm gonna zoom out Bam. zoom out to the daily chart I think this one is the most important chart at the moment why because we had a golden cross i've been talking about that golden cross already now for a week or two i think something and this golden cross people expect bitcoin to explode directly bam to the upside now to show you what normally happens after a golden cross i'm gonna um, go back in time to the last time we had a golden cross after the bear market so after the bear market then we need to go back all the way over here this was a 2017 top, if you remember what 20K, you know, uh, that was the moment that 20K still felt, ah, oh, so beautiful, we reached 20K, we are so happy. And now 20K is like, ah, oh, we are so low. <laughs> That's how uh, human psychology works, guys. Um, but the last time um, that we had a golden cross after the bear market over here was here. We had that green line down below the red line, then we crossed it over there that is the moment of the golden cross if we zoom into that moment at the moment that that golden cross happened we can see a pullback do you see we were here at this level and then we fell down bam red candles one two three four five daily red candles that were red before we started to explode up again we can see that we moved up again and came higher than the moment that the golden cross was there like almost a week or two later and that golden cross had effect because that golden cross at the end in total it took 60 days 64 days to go up with 150 percent so 64 days two months to go up with 157 percent it's almost 160 percent guys so yes, after a golden cross, yes, we can pull back and then continue. Hope you understand what I'm saying. Because you can see clearly, I will go from the moment that the golden cross is over there, we go down. And there, bam, we go up. And that is exactly what we are seeing today, um, if you look at the charts. Because today, we had that golden cross a couple of days ago. At the moment of that golden cross, it was here, we came down. Da -da 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 already five red candles and now we should be going up again that's what normally a golden cross has it has the power to 
turn around the market again to the bullish side now let's see if that's going to happen uh, we can already see the macd uh, darker shade to light red so they will become lighter 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 and then again green also the bam and get here in the bottom uh, the blue line will cross that red line and then the white line and that will be very bullish now let's go to the weekly on the weekly we've been talking about a bearish cross this is what we call a death cross the green line is crossing the red line to the downside that just happened because we just closed the candle and we now are opening a new one and that last closing candle was at 21,789 at the moment we are at 21,760 so yes we had a new high and now we are creating a higher low where will this higher low be will this higher low be 20,700 will it higher the higher low can go even as low as 17,600 and still be a higher low for me we will find support around this line this dotted white line because that's the trend line and mostly we retest that trend line before we continue can we uh, say anything about that dead cross people are asking me now because if i look back in history look we can go back very far in history all the way over here this is already 2017 this is the bear market over here 2019 we haven't seen that yet a dead cross on the weekly chart here we try to make a dead cross but we bounce so no i can't say anything about a weekly dead cross in history because we haven't experienced that one before now so let's see what happens maybe it will be coming bullish again after and then just come a little bit down below the red line and then move up again so that it's not like a huge dead cross let's see now if we look to the bigger picture then we look for example at the bitcoin mvrv ratio chart uh, this one is on uh, wubull.com um, made by willy who we can see the dollar line the, that one level over here and um, when you are at that one level um, let's see if my face is in the right place yes over here it's good if you are at that one level guys this is the level down below the level that's bearish above that level we start to come bullish again so we were down below that level and yeah, here a whole year down below the level and we came above it now and could we coming and retest that line again and then pull up further yes it could be possible but the thing that you need to notice is that every time that in the bear market we move above the dollar line in the bear market there's the end of the bear market and the start of the bull market if we move above it here end of the bear market start of the bull market if we move above it it will be the end of the bear market and the start of the bull market guys very simple and then uh, we can see that even better on these next charts over here that's spam this one is the first one it's only two two more charts guys keep hanging in keeping in i know it's boring <laughs> <laughs> but you want to know what's happening to bitcoin i'm telling you now um this chart is the cost base of short-term and long-term holders and very very simple if we talk colors uh bearish that's the red part of the chart over there and we start to get bullish in that green part of the chart over there and we can also see that here in the bottom um, bearish is that purple cup and when the purple cup ends we get a greenish bullish part bearish purple cup greenish bullish part oh shit we had a bearish purple cup and we will get a greenish bullish card a bullish part will it take a little bit more yes because we can see the purple cup needs to end a little bit so we we need to go a little bit sideways before we come really bullish in my opinion and that means that then um, a long-term holders are taking the overhunt and they are holding long 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 term and there's less and less short-term holders uh, so more people will be in profit less people will be in loss which will uh, give a positive vibe to the whole uh, industry and why people will huddle longer and longer and start to accumulate more and more and more and for that you can zoom out to the biggest chart over here um, this is the version 2 because the first rainbow chart i think uh, that was a little bit too bullish and that one uh, was destroyed by uh, last year's not blow off top um, if we adjust the rainbow chart we get this one now and on this rainbow chart you can see um, that the moments we get in the darker shared area from orange to red those moments should be to, should be selling your bitcoins uh, always selling your bitcoins because that is where your dollar cost average out that's where you take the profits um, the moments that you need to buy is that bluish area all the way up into that greenish area how do you read this chart look uh, the dark blue is a fire sale and then you get a buy signal accumulate it's still cheap and then you start to hollow is this a bubble yeah you know the whole uh, drill but this area that we are in 
is still below the still cheap area so yes it is still a perfect moment to start buying bitcoin because this is the fourth halving coming up over here and during that halving we mostly are still around that bluish greenish part as you can see look here uh, at the halving bluish greenish part at the halving bluish greenish part at the halving bluish greenish part but after that halving we can see that we explode again bam to that red area after the halving you explode bam to the red area so after the halving bam to the red area which means that you should be accumulating a shitload of bitcoin between now and 2024 the halving does it mean that we will go lower than we are now no as you can see this chart is moving up so yes the longer you wait up till the halving the higher the price will be that you enter the bitcoin and that you buy bitcoin so you should be dollar cost everything from today keep buying bitcoin bit by bit a little bit because it's going to be more and more expensive towards the halving and the end after the halving you will be able to take your shitload of profits that you want to take now bam that was everything for today guys mm. one more coffee i hope you really enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and let me know what you think about the charts that we just talked about thank you for watching see you tomorrow again probably with a walk and talk on the beach bam.